Hey guys, we are back with some more San Jose Sharks franchise mode. And I'm using a new mic, if you couldn't tell. It's blue snowball ice, so let's see how this works. Hopefully it's pretty good quality, because, uh, you know, dropped some good money on it. So, hopefully it works nice. And uh, let me know what you guys think of the audio quality. So, as you guys can tell... We're past the playoffs once again. We were not in the playoffs for his second year in a row. And uh, as you all can see, the championship went to the Boston Bruins. So they are Stanley Cup champions. We may as well check out the awards here. Where am I going? We're going in here, I believe. Yes, awards. So obviously, Stanley Cup, the Boston Bruins. And the Boston Bruins also won the President's Trophy. So back-to-back -back years... The President's Trophy winners were also the Stanley Cup winners. Wow, that's actually... When was the... I don't think... Has that ever happened? <laughs> I don't remember if that has ever happened. If, if And if it has, it has not been in recent memory. Uh, so, Clarence S. Campbell, Anaheim Ducks, and then... Uh, so, it was Anaheim versus Boston. So, Art Ross, Conor McJesus, Hart Memorial, Conor McJesus, uh, James Norris, Oscar Clefbaum, McJesus for the Bing... Calder goes to S. Molson of the Panthers. Con Smythe goes to Tuka Rask. Vesna goes to Matt Murray. Uh, Jennings goes to Tuka Rask. And then Masterton goes to Josh Manson on Vegas. And then Selkie, McJesus. And then Lindsay Award, McJesus. And then Maurice Richard, Cole Sogas on the Washington Capitals. He was the first round, uh, the first overall pick in the McLeod draft, I believe. So... There are the awards, and we will also check out the playoff tree really quick. So, obviously, it was Boston and Anaheim. Boston swept Anaheim. They also swept Columbus, took out Tampa in five, and then took out New Jersey in six. So, so only five losses throughout, or not five, uh, th <laughs> three losses throughout the entire playoffs. Excuse me. And uh, they went 16-3, and three, so that is pretty impressive right there. And uh, you guys can look through the rest of the playoff tree, but uh, we went over the one that mattered. And let's see, so obviously we weren't in the playoffs, so let's uh, make our way up to the draft and retirements. I'm assuming we're going to have at least a couple, because we do have a guy, a couple guys who are 35, I believe. So yeah, let's do that right now. And uh, I'm surprised the, <laughs> the Stanley Cup was awarded so quickly. We're only on May 26th, so uh, <laughs> that was pretty quick. Uh, so, Scout, we will go to the U.S. for defenseman for two more weeks. I actually, I off-screen scouted Russia and the U.S. for forwards for three weeks each. And here is the draft lottery. We are picking 13th overall. All right, doesn't matter too much, but uh, we'll get a good player with that. All right, retirements. Let's see. We have Zach Smith retiring. Okay. And then any goaltenders? I would imagine not, but we'll see. Okay, good. So, Zach Smith is off the team officially. Let's check all of the retirements here. Joe Pavelski has retired on Florida. David Krejci is retired. Milan Lucic has retired. Ladd has retired. Oposo, Zuccarello, Erickson, Shea Weber, Bufflin, Latang, Perron, Fanuf, Bonino, Bomeister, Radulov, Stewart, Maroon, Eller, Strawman, Grabner, Sutter, Ennis, Haglin, Demers, and of course Zach Smith, and then Sean Mathias, Shipachev finally retired, Alec Martinez. Okay, that's uh, that's enough there. So let's get up to the draft, and let's see who we can get with the 13th overall pick. But you know what? Before we actually do anything in the draft, I want to make a trade because... Uh, if you guys remember, there was a certain defenseman who was very underproductive, and uh, that would be Justin Falk. He is down to whew, he is down to an 83 overall, getting paid 6.1 million for the next two years after this. So yeah, I definitely want to trade him right now. Uh, I thought Nashville was gonna want to give up Camp Fowler, but maybe we'll wait until free agency for that. So yeah, never mind. I will. Uh, Hold off on that trade for right now, and we will just do the drafts here. So, uh, first for Julius Honka, no thank you. 
Yeah, no thank you. No thank you. Come on, just move past all these trades. Okay. So let's see who is available here. I'd imagine there's at least a top six forward or two. Yeah, that Yoshida, he's an exact top six forward. So uh, I have these two guys pinned, but I'm not particularly interested in Xavier Wilson here. Spike Hemingway, nice name, but uh, eh, he'll probably be like a top nine. So yeah, I think I'm going to take Jordan Yoshida of the Prince Albert Raiders. He is going to be a 60 overall, medium top six. Very nice pick right there. 18 years of age. Let's take a look at the top picks here as well. So uh, there was an elite goaltender, elite playmaker, another elite playmaker, elite sniper, an elite defender, and an elite playmaking center. T. Woolley, Tommy Woolley, who is 78 overall, looks at NHL ready for Toronto. So Sim 2 user pick. I believe we have a second round. Yep, it's a very late one. I think we, uh, that must have been for a bit trade or, or something. So, exact seventh defenseman. I don't know why I, I had him pinned. I guess I thought he might be something. So, Negrin, Dennis Negrin. 17 years of age. Medium top six sniper. That could be a top nine, but that could also be a top six. So, I'll take my chances. Let's see what he is. Oh, bottom six. Ugh. Yeah, true. Those those top sixes tend to be little uh, little deceptive. <laughs> so let's uh, let's take let's keep looking. Uh, I guess we'll just take a goaltender, Safranov, French starter. Those usually yeah, medium starter. Nice nice value right there. Got another third round pick. And let's see let's see rights. Steve writes, uh, let's go for, let's try to go for a skater here. Come on, there you go. So, medium, that guy, Frazier is a medium starter. Don't know if I trust that though. That could be like a backup. Uh, let's see. High top six, six round, I don't trust that. Do not trust that. Let's, uh, let's take a look by projection. Okay, so, yeah, you know what, I'll take rights, whatever. Yep, medium starter, nice pick, nice pick right there. And we're going into the fourth round. Do we have a fourth round pick? It's, yes, we do. Okay. So, I'm going to try Solis here, Mark Solis. I have nothing on him, he's 19, but sometimes those medium tops, top nine snipers can be gems, you know, but uh, apparently not this one. <laughs> Bottom six forward. As uh, I think I'm going to take a look in other leagues besides Canada for this next pick. I might consider... Uh, let's, go for, let's go for Russia. All right, so a top six grinder. I don't think that's going to be a top six potential, though. Uh, it seems like the only good one, though. So, you know what? We'll try it. Yeah, bottom six. Okay. So, yeah, the, more often than not, what I've gathered from the draft in this game is that medium top sixes are apparently going to be medium bottom six. So, uh, getting right over the seventh round here. I guess we didn't have a sixth round pick. Let's take... Uh, is there any goaltenders left? Any good potential goaltenders? Medium starter, don't know if I trust that. Uh, let's see, let's see. There's a low backup. We'll just take it. Uh, yeah, I'll take a chance. Why not? Medium backup, I knew it. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that looks to be about it. Yes, indeed it is. So, let's get to that resign stage. I believe we have to only... The only real big contract here coming up this year is going to be McLeod. Every other contract, well, in Hannafin, but Hannafin isn't going to want, like, a tremendous raise, you know. He was already making a lot of money. I'm talking about guys coming off rookie contracts. So we have 38.6 mil to work with. So Hannafin doesn't want to want to resign, but I'm not, gonna, I'm not about to let him walk to free agency. I will overpay the crap out of him. Um, I'll try 
Yeah, sure. 8.9 for four years. We got to retain Noah Hannafin. And uh, Darren McLeod, I'll give him three years at 6.2. All right, that should be good for him. And let's see. Aho, I think I can release him because he's asking for 5.8, but I'm going to probably have to extend him by like a million more than he actually wants. So I'd be better off just trying to resign Aho in free agency, but I was not going to do that. I was not chancing that with Hannafin. So Muzzin doesn't want to resign. How much would he want if you were to resign? Four point. Yeah, no, no, thank you, no, thank you for an eighty-two overall. He was good while we had him, but just uh, not feeling that. So Adam Lowry, he was pretty good last year on the four, on the uh, not the fourth line, the third line. Thirty-three points plus four. He's making three point four. Let's see what he wants now. Only two point nine. Yeah, that's pretty good. We can uh, we can do that. We can do. Let's try 2.8 for him, and Craig Smith. So he was making 3.75, that was actually pretty ridiculous. Uh, he made, he did 27 points. Let's try to get him. Okay, so good, he, he's getting a massive decrease here in pay, almost by a million. So let's try 2.8 for Craig Smith, a Philip Dano. Let's see, he was pretty good. Yep, 27 points for a third or fourth liner. 2.9, how much does he want right now? 2.4, okay, so getting a lot of these guys in the pay decrease. 2.35 for him. In case this is Zikas, does not want to resign. I'm not going to bother with him. He can get released. And I'll sort by UFA here to make our job a little easier. Uh, Luff all release. Balsers has got to stay. He is a legend. <laughs> and let's see, so... Bottom six, not interested. Let's see. Bottom six, not interested. Seventh defenseman as well. Gonna release you. I will sign Barahowski. I will sign Desbians. It's probably not how it's pronounced, but whatever. Boyd. And Jordan Stahl. Uh, minor checking forward. I think he's, uh, well... He wants it two ways, so you know what? I'll sign him. He could be good depth for the AHL. Though I don't think we're going to play him in the NHL this year. Grayovac, he wants a two-way, sure. Wiederer, he wants a one-way. Not signing you. And Cernak, let's see. Only 1.7. All right, yeah. He was pretty solid last year. I can uh, definitely sign him for that. 1.65. And let's see. RFAs. Uh, Winkler and Datsuk. I don't need Datsuk. Don't need Winkler. And let's check goaltenders real quick. Uh, Montebo and Bennington. Don't need Benning, uh, Bennington there. And Montebo. Uh, 1.7 sounds good for him. So that should be everyone right there. And unsigned. We'll just check really quick. Just to see if there's any prospects I would like to sign. Natushkin. I mean... Not really. Not feeling that right now. Yoshida, nah, he's, well, I mean, he's American, so it's not like he's going to, you know, take a year to go to juniors. He's going to start playing right away. So, yeah, I think that would be a good idea, signing him right now. He can play top line minutes, just uh, grow really fast. Yeah, let's check goaltenders real quick. Yeah, no, not interested in signing either of those guys. And that'll be it right there. Let's move on. To see who is signing and then uh, he will move on to free agency so advanced day and let's see McLeod accepted Lowry accepted Yoshida Stahl Hannafin accepted nice Dano, Smith Grayovach Boyd Barahowski Desbians Cernak Montebo rejected Balsers there you go so we just got to resign Montebo and if we can't that's fine Easily replaceable as a backup goaltender. 17 mil still to work with. But remember, we released Sebastian Ajo, and we still have got to sign... How many forwards do we have? We have one, two, three... We have six, seven, eight. We have eight forwards right now, so yeah. we got to sign four forwards. Uh, we have to sign one defenseman, and we still need to sign Montebo. I'll just give him what he wants, sure. If, if he doesn't sign for that, then I'll release him and... See what we can do for backup goaltenders in free agency. Advanced day. And rejected. Okay. So uh, Montebo is going to go to free agency. Let's just send right up to it. 
and see who is there. So, free agency. Let's see who is in here. We have 17 mil to work with. And, ooh, ooh Nylander. William Nylander. He was on the trade block. And now he is available in free agency. But remember, we need four fours here. So I definitely want to get Aho back. I want to get Nylander back. So if I get those two guys, I'm gonna get I'm gonna have to go cheap for my remaining two forwards and defensemen. So let's actually check defensemen first. Uh Plus, 19 at 80 overall. Low elite. Undrafted? How'd this guy go undrafted? I mean, that's a solid defensive defenseman right there. Great. Actually, there is the replacement for Jake Mosen right there. Serge Plus. There you go. <laughs> Got a very cheap defenseman. So, I think, honestly, we'll be able to afford Nylander at this rate. So, Montembeau, we may as well try to get him back. He was pretty solid for us. Yeah, sure. 1.9 for two years. Now, forwards. So... <sighs> We're not spending too much money right now. I believe we got two mil tied up into a backup goaltender and then Serge Plus with the two-way contract, I believe. So that's not going to have too much of an effect on the cap space. So that's it's around three mil. We still got about 14 mil remaining. It's going to be close. It's going to... Oh, Nylander, Aho. We're going to have to trade someone if we get... Mm, okay. So I'm definitely going to re-sign Aho. He wants 6.1. I'll give him 6.4. I'm going to bank on the fact that we're a championship team that he will re he'll resign for us for cheap at uh you know what we'll go a little less 6.35. I'm feeling a little lucky. Uh William Nylander. I mean that's very tempting. That is very very tempting actually. So hold on, Let, let's let's make the trade first that I wanted to make with Cam Fowler and Justin Falk. Let me see if Nashville has made Fowler available. Let's see, yeah, Fowler is available. So is Sub Subban and Ekholm, but uh, hmm, actually, I mean, in terms of contracts, Subban would be the better one to take. Thing is, he's three years older. I want to have someone who we can kind of lean on for a little bit longer than than one year and that'd be Cam Fowler so he is up there and let's see let's see so yeah Justin Volk just did not have a great year at all we're going to be trading him away 6.1 so we're not taking on too much salary here that's good uh, we're obviously going to have to add some prospects in here I think maybe we'll add Langfeld we got a lot of goal prospect goalies at this point and we'll add, we'll add in Wang. That looks like enough. Will that go through? Yes, it did. So that's a nice trade. And uh, actually, I should probably show you guys Cam Fowler's stats. Because <laughs> I was scouting out Cam Fowler earlier. And uh, he has 59 points last year. So if he can keep that up, that'd be great. He had 7 points in the playoffs as well. So playoff performer. And shows up in the regular season as well. So, good defenseman as well. And uh, obviously Vernarski and then Cernak. And then we'll probably have Plus all wrapped up. So, let's see. Forwards, forwards. We got six, seven, eight. And then Aho will be nine. Okay, so <laughs> again, it's going to be really close with the salary cap. But I think we can, I think we can afford Nylander. Especially if we go cheap with those last two forwards. So, I mean, Dahlman is available too, 21 years of age, but he is an RFA, so I'm not going to take my chances there. So, William Nealer, he wants seven years. I mean, he'll be... Yeah, that's worth it. That is worth it. Let's try to go 9.3 for Nylander. That's a lot of money, but you know what? I think he'll be worth it long term. Because depth hasn't exactly worked out for us here in <laughs> in San Jose anyway. So, may as well, you know. Alright, now, we're looking towards the cheaper side of forwards. 
Maybe Michael Mersh wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, I'm looking more towards like one mil, like one to 1.5 sort of thing. Di Giuseppe, I'd prefer not because I, yeah, you're not good enough defensively. Marcus Foligno, yeah, I mean, he's a good, good power forward right there. What was his stats last year? 22 points. Playing how many minutes a game? 12 minutes a game. So, yeah, it wasn't bad on face-offs when he took him either. 133 hits. Yeah, pretty solid player. I think we could, yeah, we could probably go for Marcus Foligno here. We'll give him 2.1. And we will, uh, Artem Anisimov, I mean, nah, he's too, nah, no, nah, no, nah, too old. Reed Duke. Uh, I mean, how is he on face-offs? He's not bad. Took 913 last year. Had a 54% success rate. But, uh, just not great everywhere else. Bring back Zizekas. How did he do last year? Not too great on face-offs. 45%. Ooh, rough. Rough for him. At minus 13. Nah, no thank you. I don't need to bring him back. You know, we'll see what happens, because I don't want to, uh, you know, put ourselves... Well, I mean, we're already going to be uh, kind of tight on cap, but I want to see where we're at after all these signings here. So, Aho. Uh, Aho uh, rejected. Okay, that's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. Felino accepted. Plus accepted. Nice. Montebo accepted. So, Nylander, I'm really counting on you here, bud. <laughs> uh, hopefully, Nylander signs. So, Aho, that was unfortunate. Got to get us another second line right now. So, maybe Elias Lindholm wouldn't be too bad. Okay, so I think I want to go for Tyler Johnson because defense wins championships. He's a two-way forward, so hopefully we can sign him. And uh, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really uh, kicking myself that I lowballed uh, Sebastian Ajo there a little bit. But I'm I'm crossing my fingers that Nylander signs. I'm crossing my fingers for Nylander. So uh, it's a good thing we got Plus though. He's he's a good, really good pickup, really good pickup right there. Uh, 14 mil in cap space. Yeah, we're kind of hurting. Probably going to have to sign a rookie or something as our 12th forward. All right, let's see. Come on, Nylander. Ha <laughs> ha, no. All right, all right. Yeah, so there's Tyler Johnson. That's a good one. That's a, that's a good one, but we're going to have to make a trade or two here because we did not, we were not successful in getting William Nylander. That is unfortunate. Okay, so I do have a backup plan in mind. Go to St. Louis here, as they want to give up quite a few forwards. Shen, Stahl, Pearson. Uh, let's try for Schwartz, because that'll be a solid scoring option. First line forward. So. Be good enough for Schwartz. Right? Nope. Okay. And the third. Will that do it? Proposed trade? Nope. Okay. Alright, so let's try this. Let's try Rice. Or, not Rice. Wright. Platt. And Marchment. Kurt Marchment. I don't think we're going to be using him. Proposed trade rejected. Wow. Let's keep trying here. We'll add in Trudeau. See what happens. Proposed trade rejected. Oy, okay. All right, you know what? Third alternate. Let's try Braden Shen. I just couldn't make a trade for Schwartz work. Not without overpaying. So, and, I'm, and Schwartz is not the type of player I'm willing to overpay for. So let's go with a goaltender in there as well. Let's get rights. Right back in there. I mean, that might go through as is, just because they want to give up Shen and they want rights. Proposed trade. Uh, 
quite well. Just sweeten the value a touch. Okay, so we might uh, steal. Might be able to steal Brayden Shen here with third and rights. Let's see. Trade accepted. Very nice. So uh, I think that was a pretty solid compensation for, I mean, I mean, obviously nothing can really compensate for William Nylander, but, yeah, you know, I think we got a pretty solid forward core at this point. Let's see, how many is that? That is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, I'd prefer not to have Stahl in the NHL this year. And then uh, the defense, that is 6. We still got 5 mil in cap. All right, may as well go all out here. Try to find like another top of the line third liner or borderline second liner. Okay, so what if is this St. Louis willing to trade away another? Yeah, maybe Pearson might be the one there. Even Eric St no, not not Eric Stahl. He's thirty nine. Never mind. Tanner Pearson. Yeah, he might be good. Let's see what he did. Fifty two points. I mean, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. We're, we're going to be very, very tight for cap, though. Yeah, that's pretty much going to take us, wow, like 25,000 over. So what would happen if I gave up, like, one of our minor leaguers? Like, Grayovach? Yeah, that would work. <laughs> well, I mean, not value-wise, but that would put us under the salary cap, technically, by, like, a million. So... Let's see, maybe we include, I guess uh, I guess St. Louis is rebuilding here because they want to trade away Pearson now as well. We'll include Trudeau and, I don't know, Arakala. I mean, honestly, like that could probably, that will definitely go through. Let's take off Arakala because they want to give up Pearson. So proposed trade, uh, eh, okay. Thought that might go, go through. That might go through. So let's try adding in, try adding a couple bottom six forwards here. Lakhtyanov and Negrin. Proposed trade. Nope. Okay. We'll add in like a top nine forward. We'll add in Devry. Proposed trade. Accepted. Okay. So I believe we now have a solid roster, solid cap available. 0.925. That is brutal. But. You know, we made it work. We made it work. And unfortunately, we weren't able to sign Nick, uh, not, uh, not Nick Ritchie, <laughs> William Nylander, but I think we got a solid four core now. Cole Akabo, Ritchie, McLeod, who is bound to grow again this offseason. He will probably grow into a first liner. Shen, Raquel, Couturier, Johnson, who might drop off, but, you know, as long as he plays solid defense, I'm all right with that. Pearson, Lowry, Smith, Deneau, and Felino. We are looking much, much better. And then McAvoy, Hannafin, Fowler, Vernarski, Plus, and Cernak. And then goaltenders, obviously, Mahler and Montembeau. So that is going to be about it for this offseason. I mean, unless there is some, there's some prospects in free agency we can pick up. The, uh, the next season. So, Millman rejected. Antonio rejected. Carnes rejected. <laughs> okay. Well, we get accepted. Okay. Solid. One out of four. And, and isn't uh, with the worst thing in the world. I was about to say it's not too bad, but then I realized it's pretty bad. But, you know what? Uh, it's, it's better than nothing, so I'll take it. All right. Moving on to season number eight, I think. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> who's counting at this point, right? All right, we are in season number eight or seven, whatever. <laughs> I think it's eight. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so let's check out the lines here. We'll send on Stahl and Timmins as we don't uh, we don't need them. Goaltenders, Mahler's a ninety as usual, and then Montebo is an eighty. Defense, uh, wow, plus plus grew to an eighty two. Top four defenseman now. As he is looking really solid. That was a nice pickup. 
at uh, free agency, and he's cheap too. <laughs> Vernarski is an 83, so it looks like he's not growing too much more, unfortunately. Cam Fowler is an 85 still. That's good. Hannafin's an 89. McAvoy is an 89. Looking solid right there. And then forward-wise, let's see. Koliakovo, 88. McLeod, 87. He's an official first-liner. Richie first, uh, well, yeah, obviously he's the first liner, 87 overall. Ricard Raquel, 84. Couturier, 84. Shen, 83. Pearson, 83. Johnson, 83. Nice. Got a nice forward core, I must say. Nice deep forward core for once. Uh, Lowry, Smith, Danoa, and Folino. So, looking pretty good. Let's check the miners out. Voloshenko, Stahl, Balsers, yep. Marchment. Defensively, they got Barahowski. Uh, oh, we got a Kyle Pouse. Right, right. The uh, <laughs> the fill-in forward, rather. So, yeah, let's edit the lines real quick. All right, so these are our lines for this year for the start. Richie, McLeod, Koliakovo. I'm going to change their positions back. Uh, Koliakovo is going to be a right winger again. And Pearson, Raquel, Shen. Lowry's going to change to a left winger. Couturier, Johnson's going to change to a right winger. And then Felino, Dunno, Smith. And then defensively, Hannafin, McAvoy, Fowler, Vernarski, Cernak, and Plus. And then special teams, power play, Richie, McLeod, Koliakovo, McAvoy, Fowler. Then Shen, Johnson, Raquel, Koliakovo, and Hannafin. So Koliakovo double shifted there on the power play. And then Col McLeod and Koliakovo, Hannafin and McAvoy, Shen and Richie, Fowler and Vernarski. Actually, you know what? Instead of uh, Shen, I'll do Raquel right there. And then penalty kill, Couturier, Lowry, Plus, Hannafin, Johnson, Shen, Vernarski, McAvoy. And then Couturier, Plus, and Hannafin, Johnston, Vernarski, McAvoy. And then extras, four on four, McLeod and Koliakovo, Hannafin and McAvoy, Shen and Richie. Fowler and Vernarski, and then Johnson and Pearson, Plus and Cernak, and then McLeod, Koliakovo, and Hannafin, Shen, Richie, McAvoy, Johnson, Pearson, and Fowler, and then extra attackers are Koliakovo and Raquel, and then the shootout, Richie, Koliakovo, McLeod, Johnson, and Raquel, and then obviously goaltenders Mahler and Montembo, and Xavier House is scratched for right now. So that's going to be it for this one. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is the last chance. If we don't make the playoffs, I am fired. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one.